Hey folks, Rob here. Well, it has been a little over three months since I sent out the uh, Heritage Rough Rider uh, for repair. And so uh, FedEx just uh, dropped off my package here. And uh, I'll cover up my address there. But I got my FedEx box from uh, Heritage. And... Um, we're going to open it up and see uh, what the uh, handgun come back like and uh, if they have an explanation in there as to what they done and how they fixed it. But uh, let's open this up and uh, see what they done to it and if we have a repaired fire. Now when they tell you that it's going to be three months, it took three months. Actually, it's a little over three months. Today is the oh, 19th of November. So, there is my box back. All right, let's see. All right, so, let's see if they have a... Uh, there's nothing on that that would, uh, tell me what was, what they'd done to it. Uh, says here they put in a new hammer spring, and that was it. So... I don't think that had anything to do with the issue that it initially had. Let's take this flag out. No, it's still got as much. No. I'm still afraid that the uh, issue that it had before will be the same issue. I feel like that there was so much movement in this cylinder that, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll uh, take it out and shoot it and uh, see if we still have uh, the misfires, if uh, it even feels different now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they've done anything to address the, the slop in the cylinder. So... Anyway, we'll shoot it, see what it's like, and uh, see if a hammer spring helped it any at all. I don't. I don't think that was the issue. I think, I think this cylinder has far too much forward play. You can see there's even a, a drag line war around the front here. You know, you typically see your drag line there. Why it would have a a drag line there on the front, I have no idea. It just doesn't seem to Yeah, it's clunky as hell. If anything, it feels worse now than it did when I sent it. The hammer's even got let's see that clunk. Look, there it's stuck there. Look, yeah. Look, check that out. Look, I'll have to get my other gun out, but look at that. Check that out. That's that's bullshit. It's worse now than it was as far as the action. I mean, that's... I don't know. Anyway, three months and, and it's worse than it was as far as 
Maybe it won't misfire, but it sure don't uh, feel any better as far as, let's see what the trigger, if they've done anything. I have it on safety, so. And we will check to make sure we're, no rounds in it. So yeah, you pull right there, it's just, the hammer just stops. I mean, it'll just, it's like, it's like it's bound in there. Look. Yeah, the trigger pull doesn't feel any harder. Check that out. There's no way my other gun does that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not pleased with that. To be gone three months, over three months, and to come back worse than Yeah. And that is the same cylinder that they didn't replace the cylinder because that's those drag marks were on there. I don't know if you can see those, but uh, those were on there from the, when I sent it because I thought it was odd that they had a wear ring around the uh, front of the cylinder. That's something you typically don't see is that. Is it just me or does it look like the cylinder jumps forward when it there see it look like it jumped backwards let's do that again now watch it so, look it comes back so when the hammer's down it's actually pushing that cylinder forward okay now watch it comes back. I don't know. I'll have to shoot it. Anyway, that's what you get for uh, three months of, uh, over three months. Brand new gun. Had it less than a week or so. Uh, put 12 rounds of uh, ammunition to it. And the action of it sucks worse than when I sent it. So. Anyway, if they didn't fix it, that just uh, instills my belief in uh, things that are owned by Taurus. So, you know. I haven't bought a Taurus in years because I refuse to buy any more Taurus products because they, their warranties suck. And, uh, you know, now I'm prejudging this a little early just based on what I feel, but that's not. I'm going to go in and get my other gun and, and see if it does that. Hold on, we'll pause the video. Okay, so here's the old heritage. And you pull back, you got your second click, and this hammer will not hang up. It wants to rebound to the second click. There's no way that's going to third click, fourth click. And you can see that one wants to rebound. The repaired one, first click, well, let's... Let's take it all the way down. First click, second click, st sticks. So once you go past your second click, there, it sticks. It's like it's binding. There's no way you could, if you get all the way back closest to the, it might break in, it might wear in. That's just a little disturbing to get it back and, uh, 
it might break in. A little oil on it. Let's shoot a little oil on it and see what that does. So let's put a couple drops of rim oil down in here. You would think they would lubricate it from the factory or grease it or something. Let's see if that helps matters any. No, it still wants to bind. It may break in. It just don't feel right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm disappointed in that. We'll shoot it and see if it misfires. That's about all we can do. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching uh, and taking time to watch this video. Uh, so far, the gun may function. I'm nitpicking. You know, it was gone over three months. Comes back, and it's obviously, you know, that's not normal. It is getting a little better. And it still wants to hang. You can feel it. It's just, it's just, there's, there's like a clunk right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. You might even hear it. It's like a clunk. Anyway, thanks for watching the videos, guys. Taking the time. I appreciate all my subscribers and everybody that watches my channel. And until the next video, we'll see you then.